The Monkey Drug Trials, a dark chapter in the history of behavioral research. The monkey drug trials of the 1960s represent a highly controversial and ethically questionable series of experiments in the history of behavioral research. Conducted by psychologists and researchers at the University of Michigan and the University of California, Los Angeles, these experiments aim to study the self-administration of drugs by animals and the resulting addictive behaviors. The trials primarily used rhesus monkeys and rats as subjects and exposed them to various drugs, including cocaine, morphine, and amphetamines. This video will examine the monkey drug trials, their methodology, findings, ethical implications, and the lasting impact on addiction research. 1. Background and Rationale for the Monkey Drug Trials The monkey drug trials were a response to the growing concern about drug addiction in the United States during the 1950s and 1960s. At the time, there was limited understanding of the neurobiological basis of addiction, and researchers were interested in exploring the factors that contributed to drug-seeking behavior. The rationale behind using animal models, specifically rhesus monkeys, was based on their close genetic and physiological similarities to humans. Additionally, the trials aimed to investigate whether animals would self-administer drugs when given the opportunity, as well as to identify potential strategies for addiction prevention and treatment. 2. Methodology of the Monkey Drug Trials the experiments conducted during the monkey drug trials involved placing the animals, predominantly rhesus monkeys and rats, in specially designed cages equipped with levers that allowed the animals to self-administer drugs. The drugs used in the trials included cocaine, morphine, amphetamines, and other psychoactive substances. When the animals pressed a lever, a predetermined dose of the drug was injected directly into their bloodstream or ingested orally. The researchers then observed and recorded the animal's behavior, drug intake, and any physiological changes that occurred as a result of drug use. In some experiments, the animals were subjected to various environmental stressors, such as electric shocks or prolonged periods of isolation, to study the impact of stress on drug-seeking behavior. Other experiments involved manipulating the animal's access to the drugs to investigate the influence of availability on drug consumption. Three. Findings from the Monkey Drug Trials The Monkey Drug Trials yielded several significant findings that contributed to the understanding of drug addiction. Among the most notable discoveries were The animals in the experiments readily self-administered drugs, often to the point of severe intoxication, physical injury, or death. This finding supported the hypothesis that animals would engage in drug-seeking behavior if given the opportunity, suggesting that addiction might have a biological basis. The rate of drug intake varied depending on the drug used, with stimulants like cocaine and amphetamines leading to more frequent and intense drug-seeking behavior compared to opiates like morphine. Environmental stressors, such as electric shocks or isolation, increased the animal's drug consumption, suggesting that stress might play a role in addiction vulnerability. The availability of drugs significantly impacted drug intake, with increased access leading to higher levels of consumption. This finding highlighted the importance of drug accessibility as a factor in addiction. 4. Ethical Implications of the Monkey Drug Trials The monkey drug trials sparked widespread controversy and debate regarding the ethical treatment of animals in research. The experiments were criticized for causing extreme suffering, injury, and death among the animal subjects. Many of the animals exhibited signs of severe distress, engaging in self-destructive behaviors, such as self-mutilation and even suicide attempts. Critics argued that the trials were inhumane and that the suffering inflicted on the animals was not justified by the potential benefits of the research. Additionally, concerns were raised about the validity of using animal models to study human addiction. Some argued that the results of the trials could not be directly extrapolated to humans, as the animal's drug-seeking behavior might be driven by different factors than those at play in human addiction. Moreover, critics questioned whether the extreme conditions imposed on the animals, such as electric shocks or prolonged isolation, accurately represented the circumstances faced by humans who develop addictions. 5. Changes in Research Ethics and Animal Welfare Regulations The controversy surrounding the monkey drug trials played a significant role in the development of stricter ethical guidelines and regulations for animal research. 
In response to public outcry and the scientific community's concerns, new policies and standards were established to ensure the humane treatment of animals in research settings. The Animal Welfare Act of 1966, which was amended several times in the following decades, set forth specific requirements for the care and use of animals in research, including guidelines for housing, feeding, and veterinary care. Furthermore, Institutional Animal Care and Use Committees IACUCs, were established to oversee and review animal research protocols, ensuring that experiments were designed to minimize animal suffering and followed ethical guidelines. These changes marked a significant shift in the scientific community's approach to animal research and laid the foundation for modern ethical standards in this field. 6. The Lasting Impact of the Monkey Drug Trials on Addiction Research Despite the ethical concerns surrounding the monkey drug trials, their findings contributed to the understanding of drug addiction and informed subsequent research in this area. The observation that animals would self-administer drugs, sometimes to the point of self-destruction, supported the idea that addiction has a biological basis and is not solely the result of moral weakness or lack of willpower. Additionally, the trials provided valuable insights into the role of environmental factors, such as stress and drug availability, in addiction vulnerability. This information has been crucial in shaping addiction prevention and treatment strategies, such as limiting access to addictive substances and addressing underlying stressors that contribute to drug-seeking behavior. Modern addiction research has continued to build on the findings of the monkey drug trials, using more sophisticated methodologies and adhering to strict ethical guidelines. The use of animal models in addiction research, while still controversial, has led to important discoveries regarding the neurobiology of addiction and the development of new pharmacological treatments for substance use disorders. Conclusion The monkey drug trials of the 1960s represent a dark chapter in the history of behavioral research, marked by ethically questionable experiments that caused immense suffering to the animals involved. However, the trials also provided valuable insights into the nature of addiction, laying the groundwork for future research in this area. The controversy surrounding the trials led to significant improvements in the ethical treatment of animals in research and the establishment of guidelines and regulations to protect animal welfare. In the years since the monkey drug trials, addiction research has evolved considerably, embracing more humane methodologies and benefiting from advances in neuroscience and technology. While the ethical concerns associated with the trials cannot be overlooked, their findings have contributed to a greater understanding of addiction and the development of more effective prevention and treatment strategies. As we continue to explore the complex mechanisms underlying addiction, it is crucial that we remain vigilant in ensuring the ethical treatment of animals and humans alike in the pursuit of scientific knowledge.